Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing everyone how I go about processing my sunset photography. Um, so this will basically go over all the raw adjustments from start to finish that I apply typically to 99% of my sunset images in Adobe Camera Raw. So when I bring my file into Adobe Camera Raw, the first thing I'm going to want to do is balance the color out. So usually what I do to balance the color is I'll come over here to the camera calibration slider. And what I'm going to do first is just start adding a little bit of saturation to the reds, a little bit to the greens. And I'm going to come back over here to these temperature and tint sliders. And this is typically when I'll readjust the color balance. So right now it's looking kind of blue and washed out. So I'm going to want to move my slider away from the blue. And I'll also add a slight bit of magenta. After this is balanced, the next thing I'm going to want to do is work on the exposure as well as the shadows and blacks. So what I'll do here is drop the exposure quite a bit. Uh, usually when I'm out shooting, uh, I shoot with a Nikon D810. So the dynamic range on this camera is pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I'll usually underexpose my sunset images by half a stop to full stop, just so I don't clip the highlights. Uh, like right now the highlights are pretty good and the shadows are pretty good as well. Um, each scene is going to be different of course, but um, yeah, I usually shoot neutral or just a half a stop underexposed just to save the highlights. Uh, once you blow highlights, of course, you'll never get them back, so it's always better to be able to just pull the darker portions of the image out rather than trying to save blown highlights. Um, anyways, so what I'll do here is I'll work the exposure, so I'm going to drop it quite a bit just to get more detail in the sky here. Um, from here, I'm going to hit the highlights down quite a bit. A um, little bit of contrast. And then now this is, of course, causing everything else in the foreground to become a lot darker. So the next thing you want to do here is work the shadows and the black. So what I'll do is pull the shadows quite a bit and pull the blacks quite a bit as well. That'll bring back all our detail that we lost here in the foreground. This is just a really simple, basic way of editing your sunset photography, but it's really powerful, especially when it comes to separating color and uh, bringing back the tonality and such. So uh, anyone can do this. Uh, it's best to just go out and shoot, take your own photos, and of course experiment. Um, yeah, after... Sh Increasing the shadows here, bringing back the blacks. Um, every time I increase these two sliders here in Adobe Camera Raw, I'm going to follow it with a little bit of clarity. And then that's going to bring back more of the detail again. Um, over in Lens Correction, I always have Remove Chromatic Aberration checked. Uh, profile Correction, it all depends. Sometimes I like it a little bit warped, but this is just because I shoot with an ultra-wide angle lens. So I usually leave this unchecked. Um, of course, I could come back over here and start balancing these colors a little bit more, or saturating the reds and the greens, oranges. Uh, right now, it's still a little bit blue, so I'm going to warm it up a little bit more and a tiny bit more magenta. <clears throat> and to me, that color looks OK um, for being in camera raw. So basically this image to me would be almost done as far as a raw processing goes. Um, the next thing I would do is do some sharpening. So I'll do something known as capture sharpening, which is increasing this to between 50 and 60, uh, dropping the radius, increasing the detail to about 90. And then if you hold Alt and click alter option on a Mac and click here you can see this mask so basically what this is doing is um, you're applying the sharpening just to the it's only going to apply the sharpening to the white that you see here and not the black so you don't want to sharpen the water or the clouds or the sky really so you just want to apply a mask to it um, so that way everything you see that's white is going to be getting sharpened and the rest isn't going to be getting sharpened or it's just going to create a bunch of noise <clears throat> So I'll apply a quick sharpening mask to those areas. And then um, this was shot at ISO 500. 
Um, I would probably just hit it with a tiny bit of noise reduction. Not too, too much. Uh, generally when I'm doing my sunset photography or editing my sunsets, I don't really mess with the HSL or the split toning. Uh, I usually don't mess with these in general, ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's basically it as far as editing a sunset photo goes. So from here, I'd open this image into Photoshop. And then this is where I'd start doing my more creative work, like my glow and my light bleed and uh, luminosity masks. There's actually one more thing I want to go over before I wrap this video up. Um, so when you're in Adobe Camera Raw, uh, you have this bar down here with uh, the color space, etc. You want to click on this and you want to make sure that you're editing in Pro Photo RGB and 16 bit channel. Um, this is going to give you the maximum color depth to edit in and it works best. So make sure it's set up exactly like this when you're in Adobe Camera Raw. Uh, just hit OK. So yeah, this will basically wrap up the sunset tutorial video. Um, I hope you learned from this, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks.